Hello there, this is Venkat and I am speaking from Edina, a community media house. Before I start, I would like to say that in this election, for sure, the independent media house has played a big role, whether it's influences like Durrati or independent media houses like uh, Ajit Anjum, News Minute, Wire or even people like Bhak Banerjee have played a tremendous role and this is perhaps the time for us to support them either just by watching them, subscribing them and even supporting them monetarily. So let's go into the topic right now, right? Uh, the fourth phase is over and the Indian elections are likely to reshape the political landscape for the time. So I wanted to look at two or three scenarios here. The three scenarios which I would like to talk about that there will may be a chance, unlikely, but there may be a chance that there is a reduced BJP majority and Modi is still the prime minister of it. The second scenario is a plausible scenario, a coalition government but with NDA and BJP at the helm of it. This is a plausible scenario. We might see some of the non-aligned ones like BJD and AIDMK if they get seats, they get aligned back to NDA and NDA is able to form government and BJP is at the helm of it. The most likely scenario coming from all the other discussions and from the ground is that it's a victory for the India coalition. And here, we would see a dramatic shift in policy and also in the way the governance is done. But let's dive into each one of them, right? A reduced BJP majority, but BJP is still at the top of it. And here, Prime Minister Modi will again come back. Here, we are likely to see something significant here. Modi's administration is going to consolidate power, weakening the constitutional checks and balances. The judiciary may face increased pressure and the crackdown on the opposition and independent media and dissenting voices will intensify. While Yogi Adityanath may see his power curved, but chief ministers of Uttarakhand or that of Assam could play a crucial role in promoting the Hindu to a ideology. Amit Shah could become a critical enforcer of these hardline policies. India will slowly emerge into a theocratic society and that's a possibility, right? with accelerated constitutional interpretation into a theocratic society. The opposition may become demoralized and the regional parties like JDS, JDU, AIDMK, Shiv Shena of the Shinde or the NCP Ajit Pawar may actually get subsumed within BJP. The independent media, the non-corporate media, specifically like those of Ravish or Wire etc. are likely to be curbed further. That's the most unlikely situation given the sort of ground reports we are hearing. The last one we mentioned is an unlikely situation, but a more plausible solution is a coalition government, but a coalition government with BJP at the helm of it. In this case, Modi may not become the prime minister. Nitin Gadkari could emerge as a consensus prime minister to candidate for BJP within that NDA coalition. He will be a bit like Wajpai, but it will be very interesting to have him at the helm of affairs because he's moderate and his moderate approach will help BJP negotiate and manage the coalition government and the transition. The second scenario or the scenario we are talking about may allow BJP to distance itself from the controversial policies of Modi, electoral bonds, favoritism. Gatkare's leadership would allow RSS to shape a new narrative around Yogi Adityanath, giving them time to build an image of a future hardliner. A moderate Gatkari would be make it difficult for opposition to target BJP and it also allows BJP to really buy time to bury some of the skeletons in the closet. For example, the electoral bonds, the scams around even PM cares. The third scenario is the most likely one. Here the India coalition is likely to form government with external support. In this scenario, India coalition will form a government, but one doesn't know the prime minister candidate. Given that Congress is the biggest party there and it might win a lot of seats, Malik Arjun Karge, a senior leader, could become the prime minister. But let us not forget there are many parties here, many political leaders, there will be individual ego, party positioning and there it could have some initial instability. This initial instability will be spoken a lot in the media and BJP will try to take advantage of this. Increased social spending which is a part of 
what India has promised or specifically what Congress manifesto has promised would mean a dramatic change in the economic policy. The guaranteed apprenticeship and the increased wages in Mandrega could improve the living conditions but may also drive some amount of inflation in the short run. What this is likely to do that this will lead to fierce criticism that this is impacting fiscal discipline. BJP may also work to stall the parliament proceedings and paint the coalition as a divided and ineffective one. Similar to the strategy they used in the last few years of UP2. Narrative that the lack of a low, robust and unified leadership is hurting India's progress will gain traction both in a narrative sense and through the media. We may also see some sort of communal disharmony increasing during this period of time. So what I really wanted to do was take the three scenarios which might come out of the election and see what are the possibilities that might happen. None of it is certain till the election results come, but I think we should be prepared for all of this, especially the scenario two and the scenario three. One is BJP forming a coalition government with Nitin Gadkare as the prime minister. And the last one where we see India coalition actually getting enough majority and they form the government in the center. Thank you. Venkat signing off. Matashto Vishesha video Galanu Nodalu, Matu Hosa video Galabake Tirialu, Edina.com YouTube channel subscribe Madi, Matu bell icon click Madi.